Hi, this is Chris Martin with Nitrum Photography and today I'm going to be doing a ring shot setup and uh, one of the things that I've got with uh, this couple getting to know them is that they're big uh, into hunting and big outdoorsmen and whatnot. So, so I'm going to kind of play on that a little bit and uh, work on their uh, work on their ring shots. The the bride actually uh, was in town and dropped off the rings for me to work with for a few days and kind of let my creative juices flowing. And so getting ready for their weekend, uh, you know, showing off the rings into you know the hunting style. And so I asked them to bring by some. Uh, antlers and so uh, some deer antlers because I figured they'd probably have some and sure enough they did so so here I've got uh, a couple of antlers set up with uh, that the couple dropped off and this is like a, a match set here and so one of the things I uh, wanted uh, you know with with two people in love is you've got the, you know the the yin and the yang kind of this balance and so I have these intertwined together and I think that's how I want to shoot this now one of the things I've got here is I've doing a, a test setup i'm just uh here's here's my illustrious setup here is I've, I've got this nice natural window light uh in my kitchen and so super uh super fancy here i've got a uh, Seikonic, uh light meter here and uh, one of the things i wanted to uh, show is that uh oops bring this back um, I'm going to probably be shooting at ISO 800 on my D750, which shouldn't be an issue at all. It should be pretty clean. And uh, at, starting out at least at F8. Now, if I, I get a light rating here, uh, take a sample, I'm at 1 250th of a second. That should be a really easy setup to do. And uh, getting over here, I'm at one stop difference on this side. So, and if I get over here, Still at 1 125th. So a little bit under uh, underexposed on this side. If I go over here, I'm still at 1 250th of a second. So there's not a lot of, uh, the nice cloud cover is pro uh, providing a lot of uh, decent even lighting. And I don't have a lot of light fall off coming in from this side to this side. So uh, a nice tonal gradation uh, uh, should be should be well appreciated. So I'm gonna do the ring set. I'll probably set them up here. Uh, I can play around with this a little bit and then probably maybe shoot it at a, an angle such as this. So it uh, should be a fun setup and uh, we'll kind of go throughout. All right, so uh, in the kitchen here, getting set up by the uh, sliding glass door. Uh, I've got my setup for the rings and one of the things I've got is uh, I've got rubber gloves on. And the reason why I wear rubber gloves is that uh, I wanna make sure that I don't get the oils from my fingers on the rings themselves and get them all smudged up and whatnot. It doesn't look good. Next shot I'm going to show you is uh, the setup I have for getting these ready and then my gear. All right, so here's the setup. Um, I've got the uh, the rack set up here. Uh, I've got my D750, got the rings, and then I've got this guy. I've got, uh, this is my secret weapon. This is the uh, Micro Nikkor 60 millimeter of sweetness. So uh, the 60 millimeter, uh, 60 millimeter macro from Nikon is uh, is solid. This is a uh, what a lot of pros use. Um, in fact, I know there's a uh, one of the Nikon ambassadors actually uses this, and uh, usually use this either on limit or full. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I usually use a high aperture when I'm uh, shooting rings. I'm going to probably be shooting it from above. Also, maybe shooting it from the side and uh, probably getting it from the uh, different angles. So, other than that, uh, get set up and then you'll probably see the results after this. And here I'm using my tripod along with a Manfrotto pistol grip. I'm also using a infrared remote from Nikon in order to fire the shots. That way, uh, I reduce camera shake. So that wraps up the last part of shooting, and I'm done for now. So the next stop is to get all that stuff into the computer and start editing. So away we go. All right, and here's what we got from the computer after editing. And uh, I was very pleased with the results that I got. Um, very crisp, sharp, clear, uh, beautiful natural light popped out. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about my workflow. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.